Hello everyone. So in today's tutorial, I'll be showing with you how to make a real design entirely in Canva using Canva features and elements and pictures. And for this tutorial, you will be requiring a Canva Pro account because without that, you cannot make uh, this tutorial and make this design possible. And all the elements, all the pictures are available in Canva inside Canva. So you don't have to require any type of third-party website. to design this tutorial so let's start with it so i will be using instagram post square format as my document or as my design format so before starting the tutorial i will request all of you to please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you like the video and our tutorials and Uh, keep commenting uh, which other tutorials you want to know you want to learn from us and keep sharing your views with your comments and uh, click the subscribe button to support us so let's start with it so the first photo which will be requiring is here which is bungalow so i will click here and just scroll down until we find our image which i will use this one and i will click uh, right click and click on set image as background okay so i will uh, double click it and move it a bit okay and uh, after that i'll go to edit image i'll go to adjust here and increase the blur this one okay So next step is go to elements and use uh, a square line and shape uh, from the line and shape and just bring it right here and just make it bigger and cover the whole design and change the color to something uh, like a brownish shade like i will prefer this one and uh, go to these three dots and you use the transparency and decrease it so that the background uh, the background is also uh, somewhat visible from here and after that this is our main document which i will be using but uh, let's make the design first so for that we will come here we will choose any solid background from here to just see we our design working or not and from the element we will go to from to abstract frame okay and click on it and just scroll down until we find our abstract frame Okay, so we will use this one as you can see. It's a creative frame, and you can also use it. This will bring it right here, and we'll use again this same bungalow pic here, and we'll put it inside the frame. Okay, let's bring it slightly here, and we'll use this one again, and. click on edit image and this time we will do the background remover which is a pro feature and you can't use it if you don't have a pro account okay this one is done let's do one thing let's move it right here and for this the document size is this so we will use the ruler to put scaling here and also here and from this we'll bring it right here and decrease the size as per the ruler okay it's done now hold on control key while you move it because if you don't hold it uh, the document will get again inside the frame so let's unzoom it and uh, do the cropping okay so 
the design is almost done uh, let's let's fix it a bit a bit fixing is needed So this one is done. Now let's move to the next part, which is using a line illustration. Which is I will use abstract line illustration from here. Go to graphics and scroll down until we find our desired line illustration. So we will use this one, ok, let's change the color to white, ok, just rotate it a bit, make it bigger and hold the control key and just place it right here and click on send backward. Click on send by two word again. Okay, so this one is done, and now let's move on to the next work, which is we will be adding clouds here. Okay, so we will use this one. Hold the control key and just move it accordingly. Make it slightly bigger. Duplicate it. Place it right here. Slightly above the first one. And use another one. Let's use this one. And let's bring it above. Okay. So this one is done. Let's do the next step, which is tone frame. And I will be using this frame as we need to use a frame which will be transparent right here because if we use this frame it will also attract the whole image and will not be able to use the transparency effect so you can use either this one or this one but whichever you want okay so i am bringing this one let's make it smaller So, a bit bigger. Okay, so now let's duplicate it and crop it right here. And this one, click on send to backward. it back again and this time the effect is here is done now click on control a to select all of them and group them okay grouping is done now we'll click on control c to copy and control v to paste it okay so this one is done now let's decrease the just dissolve the rulers and let's work on this effect. Okay. So now.
now we will be adding some basics here so for that we will go to the recent tab click on see all and we will use this design this icon which is 24 7 service icon we will be using this and putting it right here ok let's change the color to something in golden ok right here and now let's add some text here we will write here for more info call us on and we will decrease the font size to 16 put it right here and duplicate it we will add the number here we will add a specimen number so for that we are using a specimen number make it bold and increase the size of the number ok so let's bring it right here let's change the colors so that all of them look similar ok make it to the same line here and next we will be using this wave button here change the color to same so this one is done let's place it right here and here we will take copy so that the text size also remains same so we will be using a specimen website name click on it again go to this letter spacing and increase the size ok now let's duplicate it place it right here right here visit our website ok let's place it here ok this one is done now let's go to here duplicate it again write it here Let's decrease the line spacing and also dissolve the bold sticker here. And let's use this version, and this time we'll be writing here. color white and just rotate it to 90 degrees and place it right here just increase the size to 18 let's select both of them just use it on the same space and this time we will go to here we will duplicate it and we will try it here Home for sale ok so this one we will make it right align and make it bold ok
this one is done let's change it to the color white and duplicate it place it here right luxury and just change the color to golden so our theme is golden and yellow golden yellow and white color so let's increase the size here wait okay and here you can just use your logo bring it right here and you can use it for your logo purposes here let's change it to some other color so that it becomes visible okay so this is the design which I was talking about and this is the design which is purely designed in Canva itself and you can use it for your own 